Thanks, T. And, and as I listen to the panel, this kind of dovetails into, or it's going to start with the class that I pitched last week or last, what was it, Tuesday, Monday, Tuesday um, at, our, at one of our 10 o'clocks. And then rolling into what I heard in the panel to what I'm going to talk about this morning to get fired up about. But I want to go back for just a moment back in March. One of my fired up Fridays was get ready for May. Are you ready for May? Did you get ready for May? And when we talked about why May, well, I told you why May, and that's because businesses were going to get opening up, start opening up. We're, we're going to get ahead of the pandemic, we, which, which we have. The vaccines are out. Everybody's mask laws have, have started to, to start freeing up. People are, you know, you don't have to wear a mask now. Um, I know there's a couple caveats in there. Or there's some businesses that are still asking to wear masks. And so we're, please respect those. But things are opening up. Guess what? Today in Grand Junction is the last day of school. We're looking at the Memorial Day weekend. Everybody's kind of going into the summer mode. Everybody's ready to go. And while things may have slowed down during this period of time after Memorial Day, they're going to take off again. May is here. The spring market is here. Are you ready? Did you get ready? Well, let me, let me take that to the next level and go, have you developed the trust in folks to hire you as their real estate agent. And so I want you to get fired up now about this concept that I'm teaching with folks, and that's face-to-face, belly-to-belly equals a no like, and trust. And until you get to that trust, they're never gonna hire you. Don't even worry about it. One postcard is not gonna get you that trust. One phone call is not gonna get you that trust. It's that repeated, over and over and over, getting in front of people so they know they like and they trust you. I, I talked to one agent yesterday who said, hey, my the, the way I post on Facebook, the way it makes no sense. But I said, it absolutely does make sense because the content that you're putting out, the information that you're sharing with people is allowing people to know you, they like you, and they trust you. And ultimately, that trust is the biggest thing that you're trying to establish with them. She said, hey, I walk into, rent or, um, into grocery stores and they're like, hey, you're so-and-so and you posted this. That was awesome. Let's talk about it. Blah, 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 blah. She has no idea who they are. None. But there's a relationship that's been built because they know her. They like her. And that is built that sense of trust. So it's how you are building that sense of trust. Well, now people will go, social media, Carrie, just, Carrie, I love everything you're putting out every single day and, and great, keep doing it. And, and if you're not taking advantage of what she's putting out, she's giving you the playbook to do it. But there's people out there that's like, oh, I just don't like social media. I've got one agent that was like, I don't have a Facebook account. I'm not going to do it. Okay, then how are you developing that trust? How are you getting in front of people? And I think in today's market, in fact, I know in today's market, the way to get in the front of in front of people, if you're not on social media, is you got to get out in front of them. Are you knocking on doors? Are you setting up events where people come to you? Oh, by the way, open houses. It's a lead source. Get back in the habit of doing open houses. We got some mega open house tips. If you need some mega open house tips, reach out to us. We will, we will get those to you. Have people come to you because what you're ultimately doing is you're developing that know, that like, and ultimately that trust. So guys, as you go into the weekend, as you go into next weekend, how are you developing trust among people so they hire you as a real estate agent? So once again, get fired up, have a great weekend. How are you developing that trust amongst people?